Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to a Monday show. Hope you guys are having a good morning. In today's video, I wanted to share with you guys a couple of different sites that I use to sort of figure out how much money an engineer should be making for their annual salaries. Uh, one thing to keep in mind for this video is that the data, the numbers that I'll be presenting to you guys today, uh, it's going to be skewed and biased towards the United States. And the numbers will seem a little bit inflated because just in general, the salaries that are being made, especially in the engineering field, are a little bit higher. Okay. So with that being said, let me go ahead and get started with the very first website right here. So the very first thing I want to search for is something called Robert Half 2016 Salary Guide PDF and scroll down a little bit and click on this little link with Wiki Lib Sun. And I'm going to load up this PDF document right here. So a pretty interesting page uh, if you search for mobile applications developer and you'll arrive to this row right here. And okay, so some of you guys are probably asking what the heck is Robert Half Technologies? And basically this company is sort of a job sourcing company. So their data is pretty accurate from my experience. Uh, let's go over here and see what they have to say. So in the year of 2015, this blue column right here, for a mobile application developer, you should be making roughly from 108K to 161K. And in 2016, we have 115 to 175. So pretty good stuff and a overall increase of 8.2%. So pretty nice if you are in the mobile engineering field. Uh, other useful pieces of information that you can sort of glean from this guide here is how much money a CTO of a company should be making as well. Uh, in the year 2016, they'll be making from 147 to $229,000, increasing of 5.2% from two, uh, 2015. So a pretty wide range and a nice salary to have. Uh, definitely very, very nice. Uh, the reason why there is such a wide range in this spectrum is depending on the company and how many years of experience you have as a mobile developer or just an engineering in general, you will either skew towards the base or the ceiling, the ceiling of these numbers. All right. So if you want to scroll down a little bit here, you'll find a lot more information as to what a big data engineer should be making, uh, 183K as their ceiling. If you are a web developer down here, you'll be making from 111K to 154K, which is also a pretty nice salary range. You'll notice that the range is a little bit smaller, or I guess the ceiling is a little bit lower compared to a mobile engineer. And you can scroll down and down and down to find pretty much limitless information as to how much money engineers should be making in general. So definitely check out this guide. Uh, I'll post a link down below in the description for you guys to find where this page is, just in case you guys can't uh, find it in Google. Maybe the link changes from time to time. And uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and move on to another website called Angel List. And I'm going to Google search for angellist.co. And now it's uh, been changed to angel.co. So Angel List is uh, basically a website that is focused to, uh, in finding engineers for uh, small startup companies. And if you fill out your information, you can arrive on this page called uh, jobs, angelco.jobs. And if you are going to search for uh, interesting queries. I'm going to search iOS, see iOS. And right here, you'll start to see information for salary given for all of these job postings, right? So 90K to 110K for a mobile developer. And if you scroll down, you'll get a lot more information for a lot of other job postings. So Boomerang is paying 80K to 155K. And NERX is right there. What else is interesting? Let's see, 80K to 110K. I suspect that is a more junior development role. So Envoy is a company that I've seen from time to time. And their range is also from 115 to 170K. So pretty much in line with what is being presented on the Robert Half salary guide. And let's take a look at what their job responsibilities are for this job uh, position. So iOS product engineer, let me load up this link and see what it is required of this position. So 
Implementing new product features for iPad, iPhone. Interesting, interesting. Requirements are you have published, maintained something on the App Store, and you've already played with Swift, TVOS, watchOS, or the new stuff in iOS 10. All right, good stuff. Someone who really enjoys iOS, Objective-C, or Swift, and loves staying up to date on the latest IP, uh, APIs and technologies. Uh, you should also be best when working on a tiny team of two to three people. So these job postings are definitely geared towards very, very small uh, startup companies. And if you keep scrolling down, you'll find a lot more interesting uh, salary ranges for a lot of jobs that you might be interested in working at. And so uh, I'm definitely not being sponsored by Angelus. Uh, I just find a lot of their information really, really useful, um, especially for salary negotiations when a company is offering you a job. And if you don't know what to ask for in terms of the salary range, you can go on these websites and find out exactly what that range should be. So good stuff there. Periscope is down here with 120, 270K. This is a pretty well-known company that does, let's see, I think streaming of video uh, with your mobile devices. And if you click on the job links, you can find exactly what they are looking for. So great stuff. Now the next website that I wanna show you guys is something called Glassdoor. So let's go Glassdoor. And if I just search for this query right here, you can get to this link, which will show you the salary for all iOS developers in general. And you'll notice that the national average is $85,000 with the San Francisco average of $95,000. So a 10K difference based on the location of uh, San Francisco. And you'll see the salary information down here. You'll notice that the numbers are a bit lower. And so my suspicion is that these are more junior level salaries. And if you go back up to, let's see, back up to the top here, if you just add a search query of senior iOS developer, you'll notice that the averages just go up dramatically from 135 to 161 for the averages of uh, the national US and San Francisco, California. And then this is more in line with what I would expect as an iOS engineer. If you go down here, you'll get the actual companies that are paying this amount of money, which is, uh, let's see, Originate, I believe this company is called, 79K to 144K for a senior iOS developer. And yeah, pretty good stuff here. Let's see if I can search for Salesforce here. So if I go down here and type in San Francisco, California, we'll get information that is more interesting to me. So down here we get 161 and pretty good stuff. Uh, okay, senior iOS developer for this company called InMobi is paying 132, 241. So this is one very, very useful way to just sort of get a sense as to what you should be making as an engineer. So I think if I search for Salesforce, maybe I'll get something interesting. Uh, perhaps not. So yeah, uh, go ahead and use glassdoor.com salaries to basically do your research before you, you know, finalize on how much uh, you should negotiate for in terms of salary ranges. Uh, another nice website that I find is, is useful for gauging salary is this website called indeed.com. Let me search here for a senior iOS developer. You might be able to see, can I get iOS developer here? All right, iOS developer. And you'll get a range of, let's see, 115K per year. And down here, you also get more uh, interesting information for salary ranges in terms of the median salary for these companies here. Uh, looks like Apple is paying $127,000 for their engineers. And let's see, another website that I find helpful is uh, LinkedIn's, uh, let's see, salary search engine here. And let's see, linkedin.com slash salary. And if you type in iOS engineer, I don't think you will find anything. So iOS app developer. What do we get here for the search? Uh, San Francisco, California. And uh, you'll arrive at senior software developer which is making 130 to 140K. So this is the median total compensation. And what they mean by total compensation is that they include things like stop, stock options uh, inside the calculations of the annual salaries. So that's what this means on the right side. 
and you also get sign-in bonus of 10k annual bonus of that rsus these are the restricted stock options and uh, these are other packages that you might get and this is sort of the median base salary information for cer certain companies in san francisco if you scroll down you get you know education level required for these jobs and yeah so pretty good stuff here make sure to visit linkedin for their salary information and something else that you might look at but isn't terribly useful Let's see stack overflow jobs like that you will arrive at the stack overflow jobs posting website and i hope you, uh, most of you guys are familiar with stack overflow um, searching down here for the jobs that are related to ios you'll see a lot of job postings that do not have salary information but some some of them that do will tell you exactly what they are willing to pay so let's see, iOS engineer for this company here, FTD companies, is paying 100 to 130. For Roblox, you, there are, they're paying you 140 to 170K. And let's take a look at this senior iOS developer position from this company called Vantage Robotics, which uh, they are producing a kick-ass flying camera. So whatever that means, um, it requires a minimum of 10 years of writing code minimum of three years of writing software for iOS. So that's uh, pretty typical and what I would expect for a uh, for an engineering position that is paying this range right here. Highly proficient in Objective-C and Swift, uh, knows how to write rock solid code and uh, experience with these bits of technology, RTSP, FFmpeg, TCIP. So a lot of video editing and network technologies that are required for this job position. Obviously, this is a flying camera, so you should be knowledgeable in those areas of the technology. So if you go back, you'll be able to find other job positions with salary ranges. So mobile QA engineer is paying 90 to 120K. And if you scroll down some more, you'll get other salary ranges like that. Okay, so that's going to be it for today's video. Uh, hopefully you find these websites here very useful for trying to figure out how much money an engineer should be making for their annual salaries. Uh, if you like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you want more interesting sort of engineering information like this. Remember the links for all of these websites are in the description below. And that's going to be it for me today. I uh, hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Bye guys.